Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Thick Riff Thursday. Today, I have an idea that uh, was inspired by some early 2010s gent. That golden age of gent, if you will. It's a little arpeggio idea that totally reminds me of some like old school, early 2010s gent. It's really crazy to refer to early 2010s as old school, but I guess we're there now. Anyway, here's the idea. <laughs> Then I want to go into this, which is like a different set of arpeggios. So yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people were digging that vibe back then. The whole like minor to major vibe where it's like a minor arpeggio and then a major arpeggio right now where the where the where the root notes are like right next to each other you know <laughs> It's a cool, it's a, it's a cool vibe. It's a fun vibe that I've been inspired by lately. So I actually dialed in a totally new rhythm tone on Archetype Nolly, and I named it 2010's Gent Tone. It sounds like the tone that I had on like my Axe FX Ultra. All right, cool. Let's get into it then. Let's just get a decent take of that first set of arpeggios, I guess. Not perfect, but that'll do. Let's even come up with like a little rhythm to go under this. I like that one actually. Let me lay that down. And we can do offset snares with the drums too. That's a very 2010s, early 2010s gent thing to do. That's cool, I like that. And then with like a stack on top probably. Yeah, like that. And then obviously we need some ghost notes on the snare. So like, maybe I can try to like play those in. A little rough, a little bit rough. Ooh, something maybe something like that, where it's like I'm not I'm not like doing like a main hit on that downbeat, where it's like, and it's more of like, you know, a little more percussive.
I don't know if I want to do that higher note every repetition. Nice. That was a good take. It's a really good rhythm guitar tone. This this tone actually may have the potential to overtake my main writing template tone. We'll see. Let me know in the comments if you want me to put this tone on my website and you can download it for free. Which I should mention, my writing templates are available on my website for purchase. There's a stock logic template using all stock logic plugins. There's a template for modern and massive, and there's a template for the P5 Matt Halpern kit. So if you're interested in those, go to architecttigerstudios.com and check them out. Anyway. Okay, that's enough. I think the second half was good. You know what? The next time around, how about the drums? Let's take all the main snare hits and put them on the kick. And then we can we can put the snare on two and four. It's more of a straightforward groove. I missed some of these main snares, but I like the direction. I like the direction because that's gonna be a new set of arpeggios. These are gonna be different chords. To change it up for that section, I think that could be cool. Just gotta do it in a way that makes sense for a human drummer to play. Okay, okay, that's a groove, that's a groove. Actually, I think it's gonna go to the third fret. I should probably have the arpeggios in here before I start doing the rhythm section. <laughs> All right, the new arpeggio is gonna be... Maybe we could go up an octave and not change the chord the second time. For, so for the, for, for the last time, the last repetition, that might be cool. Let's try it out. Ooh, and what if I, what if I go half time the second time? So like actually right here, China half time snare. Okay, I, I did go half time. I didn't go half time in four. I went half time in seven, but I still think that's kind of cool actually. And then the rhythm section. So. Something like that. Okay. No scratches when it goes halftime. I think that would be cool. No scratches. Turn the scratches off. I did a, I did a little note in there that I liked. There we go. Now we have it on both sides. Cool. I like it. Picasso. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay, I, I think the scratch takes for the arpeggios are okay, but I think they could be better. The second half was really good.
That was good. That was clean. I think this all needs to be edited because the scratches are making it sloppy. Okay, it, I'm I'm making it sloppy by doing the scratches. Would you look at that? We have a riff on this fine thick riff Thursday. Boom! We've got the quick mastering chain on there, and let's give it the old listen. <laughs> That guitar tone actually is so gnarly. That sounds awesome. Yeah, let me know if you want me to put that on Architect Tiger Studios website. Also, if you guys wanna watch extended edits of these Thick Riff Thursday episodes, please consider clicking that join button down below. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Thick Riff Thursday. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and I will see you guys next week. Peace.